Welcome you all to Play Learn English Online class. And today we are going to <coughs> discuss activity number 7 in your pupil's book, page number 36. This is a reading comprehension activity. Uh, they have given you 4 paragraphs and uh, comprehension questions. So, pause the video, read these uh, paragraphs silently, underline the new words and then you can find answers for the, these given questions. After that, replay the video and go through the paragraphs when I'm reading. So, uh, there are four paragraphs given here and two pictures. I hope that you have not seen these animals before. So, we have to read and find who they are. The following is a documentary telecast in one of the children's television programs. Read it and answer the questions. So, that is the uh, instruction given. So, this is a documentary. Documentary means in Sinhala we call Vartava. Right, so uh, it was telecasted in one of the TV uh, channel, and now they have given the um, details of that documentary here. Dinosaurs are a popular topic when we discuss the prehistoric era. So when we are talking about prehistoric era, what is prehistoric era? That means uh, the era that we don't have proper records. That means Hariyatama. Prehistoric era. So, dinosaurs are very popular in that era. Today, let's unearth more mysteries of this lesser known era. So, we know less about this era. We, have, we are going to find the mysteries of this era. Right? Era means Yuga. Year. Have you heard of any prehistoric mammals? So, who are mammals? Mammals are just like us, uh, warm-blooded vertebrata, uh, vertebrated animals. That means the animals with a backbone, Shirapai Satu. Uh, if not, uh, you would surely love to see Megatherium, an elephant-sized ground sloth. So, Megatherium, here you can see. It is, uh, what is the size of that sloth? It is? An elephant size ground sloth. Sloth, who is a sloth? Sloth is also a very slow uh, moving animal. You may have seen them in uh, animation cartoons. They are very slow. So they look like sloths but they, uh, big they are big like elephants. Right? Mm. Look at the life size replica of the megatherium which greets visitors at the sloth sanctuary in Costa Rica. So, there is a sloth sanctuary uh, in Costa Rica. Costa Rica is a country. Sloth sanctuary, what is it? A place where animals stay or care. They give, they, are, they care about these sloths in this sanctuary. In Sinhala, we call Abeo Bumi. Sloth slavenuema sakasicha Abeo Bumi. Slow, uh, so, Mm, look at the life size replica. Replica means a manually built, uh, very uh, a copy of something. Then can we see these megatheriums nowadays? No. So they have built a replica there in this sanctuary uh, in Costa Rica, right? So visitors can see this replica, not the real animal, but the replica, the uh, the copy. They have made a copy of that animal. Imagine that an elephant-sized hairy animal with giant claws uh, ambling through the landscape looking for trees. It could sit in front of and slowly chew the leaves. So here, uh, how do they look like? Elephant-sized hairy animals. So they, they have hair all over the body. And they are very giant and uh, with giant claws. Claws means they have uh, nails, very pointed nails and claws. Uh, we have to, can you imagine walking them in the landscape? They are living, they are living in the, they have, they are living in the, the, the ground area, the, in the landscape looking for trees. It could sit in front of and slowly chew the leaves. So what are they eating? They are eating Tree leaves. So these are herbivores animals. So that is about it. 
the uh, this extinct herbivore stood seven meters tall and weighed seven tons. So herbivore means shakabakshakai. How tall it, uh, is it? It's seven meters tall and seven tons weight. Barakochrakta, seven tons. There are many weaves in the scientific world about the disappearance of this creature. So now we can't see them. They are disappeared from the world and there are lots of weaves about their disappearance. One of them is that they disappeared as a result of the fast changes of, in the climate. So, so, because of the climate changes, Kalugunika viparasanisa. Another is that these sluts had been hunted to extinction by the carnivores. Carnivores means Vanshabakshaka Satun Visin, they have hunted them. Meglanga, Gudru Kuragina, Nathimen Nathikila, they imagine. Nevidhira Tamai Vartavla Tineso. What can you say about this animal? It it is a very big animal. They have large clothes. They look like elephants. And they have hair all over their body. And they eat only leaves. That means a herbivore animal. And very tall. And seven ton weight. And now we can't see them because they were disappeared very long time ago. Because of other carnivores animals. And because of the climate changes. Right. Next let's move on to the next paragraph. Now let's look at an extinct carnivore's sea creature. Carnivore's sea creature. Now we are going to move on to a carnivore. Who are carnivores? Mansha Bakshaka Sato. And uh, it is a sea creature. So that means this animal lives in the sea. Ammonites. Uh, Ammonites were a group of shelled sea creatures that mysteriously disappeared at the same time as the dinosaurs. So when the dinosaurs disappeared, these uh, ammonites also disappeared. They had uh, what? Shelled sea creatures. Jeevakandya shells. Here you can see they have a shell. They also mysteriously, that means Abhirhastasa melokin nativela gihin tiyanu. Ammonites were inverted Pretas. Invertebratas means they don't have a backbone. Creatures without a backbone. Instead, they had a very supportive shell. But they had a very supportive shell. Godak shakima katuakim natan shell like a Ammonites grew as big as one meter in diameter. So diameter means vishkambe. If this is the shell, the, wish, uh, the diameter or the vishkambe. Uh, is, is one meter. They probably lived in warm, shallow, tropical areas of the ocean. So, in the ocean, warm and shallow. The diet consisted of small fish. So, what did they eat? They ate small fish. Ammonites were popular on the menus of large carnivores, marine creatures. So, what what is the meaning of this sentence? Ammonites were popular on the menus of large carnivores, marine creatures. Ekiyane, Maash Bakshak, Samudre, Hitapu Vishala Jeevin, Menu Eke Kotasak Vendatikela, Kiana, Ekane Hegulang, Meglanga, Ahar Edagan Natikela, Hitana. But they would either have had to pull them out from the shell or have had jaws powerful enough to crush them. So, they disappeared suddenly, so they think uh, they have been hunted by these big carnivorous animals. Masha Bakshak Muglanta Vada Vishala Satusi Megalang Alaga Nati. But they must have very, very powerful jaws to crush them because they had a very big shell. Make a kadana pulang with the good akshakti madati in a satujatya in no megalang hunt karana. Right. The last paragraph. Do you know that Sri Lanka is a uh, is one of the best source sources of prehistoric studies in South Asia. So prehistoric means Pragaitihasakilgi, I told you. So when we consider the South Asian countries, we have a very good sources of this year. Pragaitihasakur Gana Goda Kunamula Shratina in Lanka. Over 180 prehistoric sites have been found in Sri Lanka, including undisturbed human habitats. Uh, how many prehistoric sites 
Adhya in Sri Lanka, more than 180. So, it's all about undisturbed human habitats. In this case, we are going to talk about the same level. The cave is called Bhattadombalena, a site near Kuruvita in Ravnapura, Beli Lena in Kitulgala, Pahiyangala in Bulak Singhala and Aligala, a site near Sigiriya, provide such evidence, Sakshi evidence. So these places provide us lots of evidence about the prehistoric era uh, in Sri Lanka. The um, excavations are still going on with the involvement of many archaeologists. So what is the meaning of excavations? Can you cut So uh, who, whom are the people who are doing excavations? We call them archaeologists. They, uh, they are the one who uh, do excavations and find about these things. We call them Purabhidyadnya in Singhal. Now we have come to the end of today's segment. Hope you would read more on the prehistoric era. So that is the, that the, those are the details given about the prehistoric era. The first two paragraphs about this uh, Magatherian animal and the next one is about uh, Ammonites, third one about Sri Lankan prehistoric era, right? Uh, here they have given how to pronounce these words. Megatherium, Ammonite, Lena. Lena is singular me, uh, means cave in Sri Lanka. Galbuhavatana Lena Gyanne. So that is given. So now, quickly, you have to uh, read these and mark true or false. Dinosaurs were the only creatures that lived in the prehistoric era. Were the, were the, were the, <coughs> were the only creatures, dinosaurs were the only creatures? No, there were these kind of animals also. There is a sloth sanctuary in Costa Rica? Yes. Ammonites had a supportive backbone. Did they had a backbone? No, they had a shell. Ammonites were carnivores. Are they carnivorous animals? Yes, they ate little, what? Fish, fish, they eat small fish. Uh, fill the grid. Here you have to fill these uh, blanks in this grid. Megatherium, the first animal. Ammonites, the second animal. Diet type. So you have to write whether they are omnivores or herbivores. So if we take Megatherium, they are herbivores. If we take Ammonites, they are omnivores. Diet, Megatheriums, they eat leaves. And ammonites, they eat small fish. Habitat means the place where, where they live. So, uh, megatherium, they live in the land. And uh, ammonites, they live in the warm water of ocean. Size, you have to write the size. It's given here. The size, 7 meters or something like that. They have given it here. And here, they have given the size of the ammonites also. 1 meter dimension or something like that. It was given here. Physical features. So, megatherium, they had... Uh, they are very big, look like uh, elephants. They are very hairy. They have claws. You have to write them. Here they are uh, physical features of ammonites. They have a big shell and they are they didn't have any uh, what backbones. You have to write the features. Threats to their lives. So what happened to them? Uh, they were uh, what was the threat? Eglonde siduichi anaturumona. The threat tamai. So they had climate problems. And the carnivores attacked them. Ammonites, here maybe uh, carnivores attacked them. Ammonites also. Next one, match the following words with this, with their meanings. Replica means I uh, told here. This is a replica. Replica is a copy of something. Emblem is walking very slowly and relaxing way. Invertebrates means the people, the animals who don't have, have a backbone. Uh, prehistoric means very past. I told you the in that era we don't have records. So read the meanings and match them. And here what does the following uh, extract mean? Ammonites were popular on the menus of large carnivorous marine creatures. So what does this mean? Ammonites were popular on menus of large carnivorous marine creatures. Godak Vishala, Mashabakshaka, Satungi may ahara vele kotasak vena tikilakina, ammonites kinai. So you had to 
uh, explain that the meaning of this extract so they may have the big carnivores may have eaten them that is the meaning do you know that group of scientists are trying to bring the woolly mammoths back to life use the following key phrases and write a short description of the woolly mammoth you may begin as follows the woolly mammoth lived during the prehistoric era so they have given one two three five details about woolly mammoths mammoths with wool can mean budak lom tiena mammoth kene kena so you have to write five sentences about this mammoth using this uh, given uh, details right and then activity number 8 i will discuss uh, i will explain that also that is a sp uh, what a uh, speaking activity uh tyro uh, tyronosaurus rex right it is about a uh, carnivores but dinosaur uh, you, you can write a small description about this animal and speak about it so that is uh, the activity number 7 and 8 you have to complete both the activities